everyone, today I'm going to be recreating the look Frida Pinto wore at the Cannes Film Festival this year. This is the look that she wore on the red carpet. I've tried to recreate it using similar shades and colours, however once again it's not exactly the same. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a pore refiner by Bioderma and just sort of prime areas on my skin where I feel that I need the pores to be refined. And then taking my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat foundation, I'm just using a Real Techniques buffing brush to blend this in. Next, taking my Last Imperfection Concealer by Collection in the shade Warm Medium number 3 I believe, I'm just applying it to areas on my face where I believe I need extra coverage, so just underneath my eyes and sort of on my cheeks and in between my eyebrows too. Now to set the concealer in place and also to mattify any shine, I'm using the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel and just applying this underneath my eyes and in between my eyebrows. Then taking my favourite eyeshadow stick which is the Kate Moss Shadow Stick by Rimmel from her new Idol Eyes collection, I'm just applying this to my eyelids and blending using my finger. I'm also applying this product to my bottom lash line which is going to act as a base for the shadow I'm going to apply. Then taking my eyeshadow brush by Bubs Beauty and the brown shade from the Naked Basics palette, I'm just going to apply this in my crease area. This is just to create a nice transition and sort of to make sure that the colours I later apply onto my eyelids sort of blend in nicely and have a nice transition from my sort of crease to my brow bone. Then using an eyeshadow brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to take the colour Half Baked, which is a gorgeous gold colour from the original Naked palette by Urban Decay, and I'm going to apply this on the entire eyelid. I'm just going to gently pat this in and ensure that it blends in nicely with the sort of dark brown that I applied into the crease. To make sure the whole look is seamless and blended really well, I'm going to go in with the Bubs Beauty brush once again and just gently ensure that any harsh lines are blended out. Then taking an eyebrow brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to apply the half-baked shadow to my inner corners and my bottom lash line. I'm going to then take a brown eyeliner pencil and apply this to my tight line and waterline, taking it all the way into my inner corners. I'm also going to apply this colour very gently to my upper lash line and then take the eyebrow brush by Real Techniques and sort of gently blend this out just to create a subtle sort of hue of colour on the upper lash line. Taking my favourite mascara ever, the Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal, I'm going to apply this to my upper lashes, also my lower lashes as well. And this is the finished eye makeup look. Now onto the face, I'm going to apply some Lasting Perfection Concealer under my eyes just to sort of take away any excess eyeshadow that might have sort of fallen down and to brighten up the area. Once again, I'm setting this with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder using a setting brush by Real Techniques. Taking a blush brush by Real Techniques, I'm just going to gently apply some blush. I'm applying the shade Coral by Sleek. Using the setting brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to apply some highlight on my cheeks and also underneath my eyebrows as well. Then onto the lips, taking a lip liner by MAC, I believe this is in the colour Cherry, I'm just going to line my lips. Then I'm just going to apply a red lipstick, I'm using one by Rimmel and I absolutely love it. Now 
And there we have it. This is the finished makeup look. Gorgeous gold eye makeup with a bold, bright red lip. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!